So a lot of people have been asking me how I ink my comics and this is what I do. Uh, for this one I chose uh, a 10 pixel brush because the character is far away or you know in the background so uh, it's easier to do detailed work with a smaller brush when it's a very small character. Uh, as you can see this is a comic about Assassin's Creed Revelations and we have the old Ezio jumping down on some guards here and uh, yeah you know when I'm inking as you can see the sketch is more or less complete but I wanna practice all the time and you know get used to the characters get used to the style that I'm using so I tend to draw uh, the characters over and over again just to get the practice when I'm not completely sure about the style uh, as you can see I'm trying to do very simplistic sometimes with these characters I go overboard and do a lot more detail than I usually have to but yeah uh, and there we have the cape uh, the blades uh, and now I'm gonna do the other characters so I choose a 21 pixel brush uh, just to get that uh, kind of inking feeling uh, when I do hard strokes and stuff like that uh, I did I did the characters as knights here because yeah I know they probably don't wear knight armor uh, in revelations but I, I wanted to do something like nice because it's more Assassin's creed -y, I don't know um, it just I just want to do knights I guess um, so yeah uh, a stickler for detail sometimes it's a bad habit of mine um, I, I don't do the dragon emblem uh, on the chest uh, I do that in coloring and stuff later on I just do the primal uh, inking here the primary inking and uh, just so I can see what I have to work with um, as you can see and uh, trying to do different depth uh, of inking not very easy it takes practice 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 and practice uh, and this is a very large file so um, it's gonna get smaller when it's done but just to get that crisp clean inking I usually draw at 300 dpi and you know just go in detail and try to make it as smooth as possible because when you then shrink it it's gonna look very crisp and clean uh, I had a little issue with the mouse mouth on uh, Ezio here and what the hair you know if you've seen the trailer it's kinda hard to see if he has like long hair or just you know like back slick or stuff like that you can see that he has long hair and stuff but yeah and I know he has black hair but I'm gonna do that later on in coloring um, uh, you can see I'm still doing too much details here already it's something I have to work on um, for web comics I usually try to do not so much detail uh, like here I do the fussy thing on his shoulder very simple and not detail and I know he has some stuff more armor and uh, stuff beneath the belts and capes and all that but yeah like I said try to do it as simplistic as possible you don't have to sell it in detail because if you're gonna do a serious artwork yeah okay then you have to do all the details and stuff like that but uh, for web comics I think you should do as simplistic as possible and yeah sometimes I zoom in I work the details there I try to stay zoomed out as much as I can but sometimes it just doesn't want to get right so I have to zoom in 
to do the details and uh, I learned from uh, Penny Arcade and Scott Kurtz that you know just just draw you know don't stop and figure out the details and stuff like that just move on uh, if you stand too long on something it's gonna be like more problematic and stuff like that so just do your inking and just move on if something doesn't feel right later on you can change it because you know we're working on a tablet in Photoshop so it's no problem you can just go back and you know do the changes and stuff like that um, but like I said just move on just alright this is what it's gonna be like and then move on and uh, sometimes you get even a better result than if you stay and you know go over it again and again and again uh, so I'm trying to learn not to stop and look at the details just move on and be satisfied get a faster workflow and stuff like that as you can see I'm doing too much here on the and I'm you know I'm stopping and doing the cape I'm to occupy with details but um, so I mean practice is the thing here um, to do uh, for this I used reference material you know photos from Google and stuff like that to to draw the character just find you know a good reference shot high resolution and you know study it or just you know make it your own like I did with this one I just okay I see the details I see the armor but I pick what I want to use uh, like for Alta ear here I, I'm not going into detail much I'm just doing a quick easy version of uh, the full getup the full suit you know um, I'm gonna shade uh, the top of the face later on so I don't have to do any much detail. It's very good if you know how to color it later on because then you can skip some details or you know stuff like that so you know how it's gonna look like uh, in the end. Uh, the same with why he's uh, standing right in the air it's because I'm gonna have him standing on uh, a castle wall that's a bit higher than Ezio so yeah that's why he's sitting right in right in top of the air um so yeah uh i know how the how the drawing is supposed to look in the end and background is also something i do last uh i don't do it with regular inking and stuff like that i tend to do it last because yeah so here we go i'm feeling also starting to learn how to feel areas with black I'm trying to be a little bit more old school about that and uh, yeah this is it this is a inked version of my comic uh, plus 5 XP uh, uh, I'm gonna do coloring later on but yeah this is how I do inking so you know practice 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 uh, and good luck to you guys out there. Peace out.